Hi. In this video, I just wanted to do a quick run through of the setup menu. Uh, there's a lot more information on the software features page. Uh, this is basically so you could just see what it looks like. Um, you see that I have the uh, IR uh, uh, sensor connected. Uh, again, the software features page will tell you how to do that and also give you a lot more detail about each of these menu settings. Here's uh, one of the universal remote controls that uh, you can use. It's basically anything you can set up as a Sony. Okay, so we'll press the power button and go into the menu mode. Uh, again, I'm just going to go through these very quickly so you get a sense of what it's like. Okay, and the first is a display period. Uh, it defaults to uh, five seconds and you can change it to different values. Um, the logging period is uh, uh, how often you're going to uh, output serial uh, data, which is the CPM and your dose unit, out the uh, uh, FTDI uh, connector here. And uh, starting with version 10.1, you can uh, send it uh, as, as quick as every two seconds or up to 12 hours. The next is the CPM to uh, your dose ratio. Um, this is set uh, depending on what type of tube you have. You can uh, enter decimal quantities by uh, using the uh, TV, uh, AV TV key or a decimal point key if your remote has one. So let's just change that to say 185.5 okay and pressing enter then I would save that value okay and the alarm threshold um, you can enter any value for the alarm this is a lot faster than uh, using the button on setup so you can uh, increment use the right arrows to increment or again you can enter a new value okay uh, the dose unit um, this is uh, the second line of the display. Uh, how do you? What do you want to use for a unit? Uh, right now, it's uh, USV per hour, and I can change that to uh, Ronkins, either uh, uh, micro or milli. The alarm unit uh, determines what the alarm is based off of. So the alarm can either be based off of CPM or your dose unit. The scalar period, uh, the second line of the uh, display in scalar mode uh, has a default of 10 minutes. Uh, you can change that to uh, um, any value you want. Okay, the bar graph max CPM uh, is the CPM that gives a full scale reading on the bar graph. Uh, tone mode is also uh, affected by this parameter uh, because it determines the highest pitch that uh, what the uh, CPM is for the highest pitch. Okay, use rad logger. Uh, this is a, a new setup parameter in uh, version 10.1. Uh, I found a nice uh, logging software and it um, only requires the CPM to be sent out to serial. So setting, setting that to uh, on uh, will just send out the CPM. Okay, and tone sensitivities determines how sensitive the tone is to the changing activity in the tone mode. Uh, best thing to do is experiment with different values depending on your situation. Okay, and the uh, last thing it does is just shows you what the uh, DCC of the uh, uh, microprocessor chip is, which is pretty much a good indication of your battery situation. Okay, and that is basically it. Thanks for watching.